finally made it to Mexico City. I've been wanting to come to this city for years. This is the biggest city in North America, the fifth largest city by population in the world for 2021. The biggest city we've ever been to yes. in our lives so far. All I can say is wow, I'm speechless. Yeah, this place is like blown our minds so far. Just the scale, the architecture, it's, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Right now we're in the Zocalo, uh, the main city center, and this plaza that we're standing in, it it's said insane. that yeah, it said that it can hold 100,000 people. That's how big it is. It is enormous. Full circle and back to the cathedral right behind us, which is the largest cathedral in Mexico. Yeah. Woo! See, yeah. Yeah. See that, Mexico. <laughs> All right, so we just met someone who said Mexico is the best country in the entire world for anyone wondering. Hola, papá, ¿qué tal en México? Pinche pelón, desgraciado. Mucho gusto, amigo. Tú eres mi novio, eres mi novia. Dame una Coca-Cola. Hola, tu nuevo amigo. are staying here at Plaza Garibaldi because we wanted to experience something that is inherently Mexican and that is mariachi. mariachi. We didn't even, we actually didn't plan to say it. Yeah, no, we didn't plan to say it at all. Yeah, that didn't show us. All right, mariachi and you can say mariachi <laughs> and we'll say it separately or together, whatever. Okay. Anyway, mariachi, that's the thing. So yeah, obviously mariachi is a huge part of Mexican culture and we have seen it. Yeah, we've places. seen it on and off, but it is here every single night and we saved this video for Friday night to go out and experience it for ourselves. Yeah, so we've been staying in this hotel for a while now. It's a beautiful hotel, so we'll give you a quick tour around that too. It's a really good price. But this plaza is famous for its mariachi pretty much 24 seven, but especially at night, it really comes to life where there's just mariachi bands practicing, performing. You can pay them for a song or tip them for a performance. There's bars, clubs. This place is a very late night little part of Mexico City. So we absolutely love it and we're so glad we stayed here because this is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, I know. This is the perfect place for us to stay here in Mexico City. So let's give you a quick tour of the hotel room and then we're gonna head out to the plaza. All right, everyone, so this is our bedroom and we have a comfortable big bed right here with nightstands on either side. And then we have this working space, which has been really great. We always try to get places that have desks and tables for us to work on while we're editing videos. All right, so we're here on the elevator in our hotel. We are heading down to the bottom to get a complimentary cup of coffee, and then we're gonna make our way out to the plaza. Check out our little hotel. This is not sponsored at all. But every now and then I get excited about a hotel we stay at because this hotel is just super nice, super cute, super affordable. It's only like 25 bucks a night and you can book it on Airbnb as well. But yeah, I just, I love places like this. It's like a little steal here. They claim to be the only hotel on Garibaldi Plaza. It comes with free breakfast, which at the moment is just like a sandwich, cereal bar and a juice, but 24 seven free coffee and tea. And what else does it have, Lauren? It's got air conditioner, air good Wi-Fi. Yeah, good Wi-Fi, a bathroom and shower. Yeah, about 15 minute walk to the city center. It's yeah. just surrounded by coffee shops and all that. And you can pay extra to have a balcony room, but we're cheap, so we didn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it's gonna be especially popping tonight since it's Friday. Yes, it, it is the weekend. This is like the place to come for mariachi music. And as you can see, you got all these monuments to different famous musicians on both sides of the plaza. But this is not even the main section of the plaza, guys. Now, for a lot of us in the States that don't have Latino background, us gringos, uh, we don't know a whole lot about mariachi music, right? So it might be that we hear it in Mexican restaurants or different festivals we've been to growing up. Yeah. But we're super excited to learn more because we've always liked mariachi. I've always loved the sound yeah, of it. Yeah, I've always loved mariachi. It's such a happy, like celebratory, but also like just completely soulful music. Like it's up there with jazz for me. It's some yeah. of the best music. Same here, I love it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is just a nice, <laughs> hey buddy. Yeah. Hola. But it's just a nice family spot during the day and then it really becomes a party zone at night. <laughs> best place to hear music. Uh. But yeah, super happy place to be. Really, really, really love it. Ha ha ha. 
Hola. Somebody just walked up to us and asked if we wanted to hear their mariachi band. We obviously said yes, and so he's gathering the, the crew members right now, and they're going to serenade us. <laughs> lindo viene en bajar un par de ojitos negros cielito lindo de contrabajo es el lunar que tienes cielito lindo junto a la boca no se lo des a nadie cielito lindo que a mí me Mariachi originated in rural western Mexico in the state of Jalisco, likely sometime in the 1880s. There became many different styles of mariachi as it got popular in various regions in Mexico and got more popular in the cities. The term mariachi is used for the music, group, or singular musician. So you could say a mariachi plays mariachi in a mariachi. It has evolved into numerous different regional styles and used for different purposes. The song we had performed for us is called Cielito Lindo, which means beautiful heaven. You'll commonly hear it throughout Mexico, and that's a classic country style of mariachi referred to as ranchera. Modern mariachi developed from a style of mariachi called son, in which additional instruments were added in. A complete mariachi today might include six to eight violins, two trumpets, a guitar, a bass guitarron, a rounded guitar called a vihuela, and a Mexican harp. In contemporary groups, you may also see the harmonica and accordion added in. The jarabe style of mariachi is what people love to dance to. Jarabe was actually established as the national dance of Mexico in 1924, and female dancers wear an iconic shawl and skirt. The song topics typically range from happiness and love to heartbreak and sadness. One thing that makes it really unique to us is that it's very common for there not to be a lead singer in a group and every member will take turns singing. But one thing I love most about mariachi is the vibrant and unique uniforms. The musicians wear wide brim sombreros, three piece suits, boots, custom embroidered ties, belts, and buttons. The uniforms actually evolved from what was worn by charros, also known as gentlemen cowboys in the Mexican rodeo. Yeah. What do you think, Lauren? How'd you like yeah. the concert there? <laughs> that concert was amazing, and honestly, it's kind of addictive. Like, I want to like hear more of that scene. It's really, really good music, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's There's a museum dedicated to tequila and mezcal here at the Garibaldi Square. I know you've heard of tequila, but if you haven't heard of mezcal, it's a similar drink that's also produced here in Mexico. It's just uh, made differently, and it's to be sipped, not shot. Um, unless you do like a tiny little bit of it, then you can shoot it. Yeah. It's really, really famous here in Mexico, and it's really good. Yeah, but and it's made from the agave plant, which you'll see a lot of in Mexico. They're just ginormous, beautiful plants that look like almost like a cactus. I think this might be the only museum in the world that stays open until midnight. Yes. But it's legit. It's open, but it is dedicated to alcohol. So I guess that makes kind of, kind of <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And it was only 60 pesos per person to get in here. And I think it comes with a uh, shot of tequila or mezcal. Yeah, but of course it's awesome. In English or Spanish, I mean. Always, if you want to buy a mezcal, always ask three things. The first one, from what agave is. You can find different plants and every plant has a different tasting. In this case, it's Angustifolia or Espadin, is the popular name. Second, production. In this, uh, this is a mezcal artisanal. It's can craft. And it's from Oaxaca. Salud. Mezcal. Mezcal. Ooh. Strong. 
Yeah, that one's really strong. Okay. It's It's got kind of a smoky flavor, and he said that if it comes from Oaxaca, it will definitely have a smoky flavor. So if you don't like that, then you need to get mezcal or tequila that's not from Oaxaca. This is really important. If you read only tequila, it's a mix in sugars in the fermentation process, and for that reason, the alcohol is strong and the hangover is really bad. Okay. If you read 100%, cool. We're learning about mariachi here. It's cool that during the 1940s, it was Mexican cinema and movies that made mariachi worldwide famous. Pretty cool, because I think most people have heard of mariachi. It's pretty famous, right? Like, I've known about it for most of my life. I just haven't known any, anything about it or any specifics, but I've known what it is and had a general idea for years. So that's because of Mexican cinema originally. Well, we're going up yet another story to the rooftop so we can get a whole view of Garibaldi Square. And this museum is super cool, guys. You get free tastings. It's a massive liquor shop as well. And you also get to learn about the history of not only uh, mariachi, but mezcal and tequila as well. <laughs> All right, Lauren, I'm gonna need some cerveza. So, came up to the rooftop and this guy just walked up and put this hat on Lauren's head and was like, you're the bartender now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's doing a very good job though. She hasn't taken my order yet. She doesn't offer me anything and her hat keeps coming down and blocking her head. Now she's took the hat off. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. No propino, no tip. <laughs> no propino. performing everywhere. They're at restaurants, they're doing personal shows. This is the square for mariachi if you're in Mexico City. You have to come and experience this for yourself and get a mariachi band to sing to you because it is a one-of-a-kind experience. I think this has to be one of the most Amazing ways to spend a Friday night just out here listening to all this different music eating good street food Enjoying the good vibes now if you go into any of the restaurants there might be a cover charge or you pay to see the show Thank you for watching this video everybody we had a wonderful night here at Garibaldi Plaza yeah, and it's still going. It's going to keep going. We might hang out for a bit longer. Not as long as it'll go, though, because <laughs> literally until like 5 a.m. they'll still be playing music out here. Yeah, and we can hear it in our hotel room. So. Which is perfect, <laughs> right? So we still get to hear it. Not loud, but just, uh, just enough. But guys, it's been an amazing night. Not a lot of tourists actually come to this place. I don't know why. Maybe they just don't know about it, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Growing up in the U.S., I think most of us have all heard of mariachi and have heard and seen mariachi in uh, various ways but this it's amazing experience in here firsthand and yeah. you can learn about it and see it and meet mariachi players and talk to mariachi players so it's just really really awesome yeah we couldn't recommend this plaza more so if you like the video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel until next time adios hasta luego amigos Oh, okay.